Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm gonna be doing a base tour, and I'm just going to check the Quicksilver Storm. Base tour and Quicksilver Storm, people. Who oh, cares? Well, you can see here the bar. It's still showing fully orange, so I don't think it's moved on. But we're just going to check anyway. Yes, nothing new in the Quicksilver Storm, chums. Bit of a disappointment. Right, anyway, I see you down at my portal base. We'll be keying in a portal code, and I've got something awesome for you guys, so don't you go away. Okay, we're at my portal base. Let's uh, hit this one up then. Activate a mon portal. Hey, girls, we're going to be keying in the code. So the first four glyphs are Bootman Birdface, Pterodactylian. Freaking Bootman Birdface. Okay. And then we've got a sunset. The next four, it's another sunset. Followed by two boatyman boat faces. Double boaty face. And a rocket. Let's hit up a rocket. The last four codes, people in the view of us. We got ourselves a beetle. Yes, it's not a freaking spider. It needs two more legs to be a spider. We got ourselves a pigeon. And an eclipse. And a reflexione. Chicken pop out, chicken boom boom. Activate a mondo, people inside the view of us, I guess. Dundle and dog! Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom, you can have your eye out with that thing. Right, well, let's, um, let's leg it in. There we are, and we're in, people. And as we're hammering through space and time, check out this. I've got my own brew of tea. The Captain's Brew, 07's Brew, I guess. If you like a good English cup of tea, this is a breakfast tea with oaky notes. Yes, it's my own brew of tea, people. Yes, you can get it at cherizina.com. Yes, and this is a lovely mug to drink it out of. Look, it's got a lovely ship on it and all sorts. Beautiful. Mm. Lovely jubbly. And it looks like we're arrived, coated. I guess we have. Now this should say, discovered by... Aha! Bionic Heart, which is Rich Smith. Yes, yes, Bionic Heart, 70, or Rich Smith as he's known. He discovered this area and it's like a hub zone. There's quite a few bases here. Now I've come to see one base in particular, which is like a steampunk-esque type spudder. Now a lot of the bases inside of the system are all steampunk inspired. So if you are to come here and you do want to put down a base, try and make it as steampunky as possible. And if you are to leave a comms ball, leave it by the portal rather than by people's bases. I'm going to change this one to be in red. I'm going to make it look all rusted. Heck yes! Yes, that's why I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to leave a lovely little message. I'm going to put Captain Steve loves it here. Yes, that's what I'm going to put. Something like that. I just put Captain Steve was here. Yeah, a freaking street mate. Freaking what? 23rd of Jan 2024. There we go. Chicka boom. Heck yes! There you are. Yeah, leave a little message. If you do come and visit, that'll be lovely. Righto. Now, the base that I want to visit is like a giant steampunk-esque spider. Oh, look. Airship Arbatum. And that's by Bionic Heart. Oh, we might have to view a couple or something. And we've also got Mr. Pishhead's base. Giant armoured train. But it's a work in progress. See, that's the trouble. I don't know which ones are able to visit right now and which ones aren't. There we go. Steampunk Spider. That's the one I want to go and view. And it's by E.R. Burroughs. Now, E.R. Burroughs and me go right back to the... We've done base-offs together. I've done a few base tours of his. He's a friend of mine. Now, uh, him, JC Hysteria, Action Pants Gaming, Nirwana, and all the members of the PBF right back when it first got established. I was actually a member of the PBF. Yes, yes, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, looking at my bases now compared to theirs, it, it, there's no comparison. They've moved on leaps and bounds with all their glitchy techniques, where mine, all my bases, as you know, are non-glitched. So, yeah, I don't build anything as fantastical as these guys anymore. But, yeah, I was still a member of the PBF. Yeah, let's uh, spin this around. Let's go and land over here. I'll land away from it slightly. And then we let it render in. Oh, actually, has he put a landing pad just here? No, he hasn't. Right, right we'll land here then. Lovely jubbly. My little bar barrel nose fighter, the deadly master P14. If you want this ship, people, I have got a video on it. There you go, I'll put the sun in the sky. 
But it's a beautiful barrel-nosed, anvil-esque type ship, as I call them. And it's got a droid wing. It's pretty darn freaking lovely. Anyway, we're here to have a look at this giant freaking mechanised spider, aren't we, people inside the viewers? Uh, let's uh, go and have a look. Now, I love EO ER Burroughs builds. I mean, look at this. Even this contraption here is a thing of freaking beauty. I mean, what the fudge? That looks like a giant sort of wagon wheel that he's turned on its side and then put all this contraption underneath. And even this is just freaking awesome. Anyway, let's see where this teleporter goes. Meow! Holy fudge, I think I'm on top of the spider. I am on top of the spider! I'm on a spider, people! That girls. Well, this is pretty darn lovely. What the fudge is that? Oh, wow! He's got, like, a, I love that. That's a really cool idea, isn't it? He's used his wonders projector with a planet there on the back. Anyway, let's uh, let's go into the old camera mode. Let's put the sun in the old sky. And let's spin this around. Let's have a better look at this giant freaking spider. Oh, it's got a gantry underneath, by the looks of things. I don't know whether there's any sort of habitable parts on this spider. But look at that. I love the pirate flag on its back. Oh, I love the way that it looks as well. It almost looks like it, it should be walking right now. With all these pistons, all the legs, all the uses of the cogs. I'm loving it. And the actual legs itself looks like he's made them out of like gates or those sort of barriers that you can use. I, I wouldn't have even thought of using them as spider's legs. I love this back abdomen as well. And I'd imagine all those bubbles are moving, but in camera mode, obviously, they're not. Oh, look at that! Rear-facing cannons! Freaking lovely! That is such a lovely idea. He's used cement mixers and then just stuck one of those on the end. Oh, and it freaking works a bloody treat, mate. What a great idea! I hope you guys are getting a lot of little bits of ideas for building your own bases. I mean, those cannons look great. They would look good on a galleon, wouldn't they? A steampunk-infused pirate galleon. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But this is looking freaking awesome, people. What a nice idea. That is so cool. Yeah, let's just go down here onto the old gantry here. Very awesome! Holy moly. I like the use of the decal here as well, with the, like, pirate face. He's kept it very pirate-esque. Oh, it'd be so cool if there was pirate bases like this inside of the game, wouldn't it, you know? You know, Hello Games have got this procedural engine where they have managed to put together settlements. Now, we've got normal, everyday settlements, but it'd be nice to come across pirate-esque settlements with flags and all sorts of stuff that are very pirate-esque. And, you know, it feels a little bit more dangerous there, perhaps. I don't know. Or you can pick up some piratey missions in piratey systems. We need piratey outposts, is what I'm saying, in short people on planets, I think. In pirate systems, everything should be piratey. Heck yes. And that is bloody awesome. That is, that is really cool. I kind of want to see the bubbles moving on the abdomen. But, you know, that, it's going to be a little bit of a, a drop, isn't it? Let's go down by the cannons. That, that, yes! There we go, there we go. We can see some of the bubbles all moving. What a lovely idea. I think this is awesome. I think this is proper awesome. I mean, after all, if you are going to make steam power, you are going to use pressurised water containers. It's very believable, isn't it? And I love the use of the flaming barrels to put those little chimneys on there. And the way it goes into here, and you've got all the steam coming out of the top here. It definitely has that steampunk vibe, especially when you're not in camera mode and you can see it sort of all sort of breathing into life like this. Very awesome. ER Burrows, you've done yourself proud, mate. As always, I mean, every single one of ER Burrows' freaking bases are a work of bloody art. He once done the Voltron Cats. You know the, the, the cartoon Voltron? He actually built a Voltron Cat. I've visited that one before. I built a base in the same system as him. I built a giant dreadnought sentinel thing. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Love it. it. It is freaking awesome. I am half tempted to go and visit Rich Smith's. The only thing is I haven't had permission to go there and actually visit it. Maybe I might sort of go and have a look at that. The airship or the other bases. I'll have a word with ER and see if I'm okay to go around the other bases. I mean, they could be work in progresses. They might not be ready for a base tour and a showcase. But, you know, if you guys do come here and you want to visit, you want to go and have a little sneaky free look at them, 
you're more than welcome to. And if you are to build here, like I say, try to respect the actual vicinity of these bases. I mean, this is quite a complex base. Make sure you build at least like, I don't know, 2,000 to 4,000 U's away from it. You know, respect the distance. It's a big planet. There's no need to put yourself on the frickin' neighbouring island. Put yourself a, a massive, massive, massive swave away. And uh, yeah, what a beautiful planet this is as well. I'm loving all the oceans. I'm liking all these little islands. Very nice. Very cool. I like the placement. It's, it's brilliant. There you go, people in the view of us. Lovely jubbly. Hope you enjoyed this sort of like little tour there, people. Right, well, I'm going to get on with drinking this lovely cup of tea. And I hope you liked this episode. Um, yeah, I, I can't understand why the Quicksilver store has laid dormant for so long. I think it's done this once before and probably the same type of time of year. Maybe they're not fully back to the office yet. Maybe they haven't kicked the servers back into life. Who freaking knows? I don't know for sure. I can't say for sure. I honestly think that there is going to be an update to No Man's Sky in February. I'm going to table it to be after the 14th, mainly because that's 30 days from when the Switch sale last ended. And then hopefully we're going to see the sales start around then. Maybe see a little bit more of a, a Twitter activity from the Shaun of the Murrays. Maybe an emoji drop, maybe a gib drop if it's a big one. And then I'm hoping we're going to get to see the update come the week after the 14th. So I'm thinking around maybe this time in February, the 23rd-ish maybe. Yeah, let's have, a, let's have a look at the old calendar. Because PlayStation tends to release their updates on a Thursday. So I'm going to say, yeah, Thursday the 22nd is where I'm going to pencil this in at. Maybe the 21st at a push. 21st, 22nd of February is where I think we might see the update. There is a chance that we might see it on the 14th or 15th, but I think that's going to be a mega rush to get it over on sale on the Switch for that day. Yeah, that's almost back to back. Um, I can't see that happening, people. But anyway, take care again. Salute to Monday. Bye, goodbye. And goodbye again.